With AWS IoT you can build IoT solutions for virtually any use case across a wide range of devices. Log into AWS console. Search for IoT Core. On the welcome page click on Get Started. In the left navigation pane, choose Manage to expand the choices, and then choose Things. Devices connected to AWS IoT are represented by things in the registry. The registry allows you to keep a record of all of the devices that are connected to your AWS IoT account. Choose Register a Thing. Choose Create a Single Thing. Type a name for your device, such as My IoT button. Choose Next to add your device to the registry. Keep everything as default and click Next. Communication between your device and AWS IoT is protected through the use of X.509 certificates. AWS IoT can generate a certificate for you or you can use your own X.509 certificate. In this lab, AWS IoT generates the X.509 certificate for you. Certificates must be activated prior to use. Choose Create Certificate. On the certificate created page, choose Download for the certificate, private key, and the root CA for AWS IoT. The public key need not be downloaded. Save each of them to your computer, and then choose Activate to continue. Click Done and you will be redirected to the AWS IoT Things root page. X.509 certificates are used to authenticate your device with AWS IoT. AWS IoT policies are used to authorize your device to perform AWS IoT operations, such as subscribing or publishing to MQTT topics. Your device presents its certificate when sending messages to AWS IoT. To allow your device to perform AWS IoT operations, you must create an AWS IoT policy and attach it to your device certificate. To create an AWS IoT policy, in the left navigation pane, choose Secure and then Policies and choose Create a Policy. On the Create a Policy page, in the Name field, type a name for the policy, for example, My IOT Button Policy. In the Action field, type IOT Connect. In the Resource ARN field, type. Select the Allow checkbox. This allows all clients to connect to AWS IOT. Now that you have created a policy, you must attach it to your device certificate. Attaching an AWS IoT policy to a certificate gives the device the permissions specified in the policy. In the left navigation pane, choose Secure, and then Certificates. In the box for the certificate you created, choose dot 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 to open a drop-down menu, and then choose Attach Policy. In the Attach Policies to Certificates dialog box, select the checkbox next to the policy you created in the previous step and then choose Attach. A device must have a certificate, private key and root CA certificate to authenticate with AWS IoT. Now you need to attach a certificate to the thing representing your device in the registry. In the box for the certificate you created, Choose dot 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 to open a drop down menu, and then choose Attach Thing. In the Attach Things to Certificates dialog box, select the checkbox next to the thing you registered, and then choose Attach. To verify the thing is attached, select the box representing the certificate. On the Details page for the certificate, in the left navigation pane, choose Things. To verify the policy is attached, on the details page for the certificate, in the left navigation pane, choose Policies. Now you can configure your device with the device certificate, private key, and root CA certificate in order to communicate with AWS IoT. If you don't have the device you can use MQTT test client provided by AWS to simulate device interaction. In the AWS IoT console, in the left navigation pane, choose Test. Subscribe to the topic on which your thing publishes. In the case of the AWS IoT button, 
you can subscribe to iot button slash plus, note that plus is the wildcard character. In subscribe to a topic, in the subscription topic field, type iot button slash plus, and then choose subscribe to topic. Choosing subscribe to topic above, results in the topic iot button slash plus appearing in the subscriptions column. Let's simulate the IoT button press. On the MQTT client page, in the publish section, in the specify a topic and a message to publish field, type IOT button SL123456. In the message payload section, type some sample JSON that your device would send. Choose publish to topic. You should see the message in the AWS IoT MQTT client. Choose IOT button slash plus in the subscription column to see the message. Publish more messages and view them. Now that we have the IoT device simulator ready let's try to save the data received from the device in a DynamoDB database. DynamoDB is a NoSQL database which is good for non-relational data. Its schema-less architecture allows for frequent changes to the database and easy addition of varied data to the system. Once the data is stored in the DynamoDB database it can be taken for further processing later on. In the left navigation pane, choose ACT which will take you to the AWS IoT Rules Engine. The AWS IoT Rules Engine listens for incoming MQTT messages that match a rule. When a matching message is received, the rule takes some action with the data in the MQTT message, for example, writing data to an Amazon S3 bucket, invoking a Lambda function, sending a message to an Amazon SNS topic or storing the data into the DynamoDB database which we are going to try now. Click Create a Rule. Create a rule called my Dynamo by a rule. In the description capture some sample text like, my IoT sensor data. Scroll down to rule query statement. Choose the latest version from the using SQL version drop down list. Type the following query. Select from IoT button SL123456. Click add an action. Select Insert a message into a DynamoDB table. Click Configure Action. Click Create a new resource. This will take you to the DynamoDB service page. Click Create Table. Give table name as Miot button. Add a primary key style number of type string. Add a sort key timestamp as type string. Click create. It takes about 10 seconds to create the table. You can go under the Items tab and see there is nothing in there currently. Back in the Configure Action page click Refresh and select the newly created table. You will see it auto-populates hash key with the primary key serial number. In the hash key value put the name of the field that your JSON file will be sending which is serial number. Note that S is small in serial number. Put it within braces dollar symbol and braces. Add timestamp as range key and populate the value with server timestamp using a pre-built function. You can add data sent by the button to button attributes column where the data will be stored in JSON format. Create a rule called Miot button rule to give permission to IoT rule to insert data into DynamoDB.
Now publish to the topic and see the output in the DynamoDB table. Keep publishing using the test client and see the output getting stored in your table. Thank you.